of you One thing that we desire That as we worship you Lord, come and change our lives One thing we ask of you Praise the name of Jesus. I want to welcome you to a word from the Lord tonight. Start taking information concerning Rehoboth 2022. It's going to be a time you won't forget the experience. God's power, God's presence, God's glory shall be mighty in our midst. For six holidays, Tuesday, 5th to Sunday, 11th, it shall be a great time in the presence of God. Join us in December for that meeting. The power of gratitude. We saw yesterday that any gratitude that does not emanate from your heart does not command God's attention. And what are the things that will make your thanks not to be from your heart? One, if your heart is filled with offenses, your gratitude can never emanate from the place because you already stuck it with satanic presence. <laughs> Jesus warned us in Matthew 18 verse 7. He said, offenses will come. Offenses will come. will come. It's a matter of time. It will come. But don't allow offenses to, to weigh you down. Listen to this. To offend means to take you off your hand. So all offenders, their goal, satanically programmed, is to take you off your hand. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 12, Jesus taught us, he said, Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who trespass against us. One of the fieldiness of the Spirit, according to 2 Corinthians 7, 7 1, is, the, is, the, uh, is, is the, 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 it's called offenses. The fieldiness of the Spirit. Don't allow it in your life. Don't allow bitterness. Don't allow unforgiveness. No. Deal with issue and keep moving forward. That is how to attract God to your life. When your heart that you ought to fill with gratitude is filled with offenses, you have lost God. And it's a total loss when you lose God. Hear this, I have a principle. I forgive upfront. Many people have done me evil. But I don't, want, I don't want their evil to bring me to a standstill because the devil must have programmed that to take me off my end. So I forgive and move forward. That is how to continue to march forward. Beware of offenses. It will destroy your heart of gratitude. It will fill your heart of gratitude with unwarranted bitterness and the spirit of the devil. And wherever... God, wherever light is, darkness cannot cohabit the place with God. So if you allow offenses, you allow darkness, light will simply just move away. So take away of offenses so that your gratitude can command the attention of God and you can change attitude. I commend you to God and the word of his grace that I pray that your eyes of understanding be enlightened to see the wise of the devil and the cunning craftiness of the devil. And so that you, you are not held backward or held down any longer, but you move forward and you, you, you change levels in Jesus' name. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. That is how far we can go. God bless you. See you tomorrow, same time and same station. And in any of our services on Sunday at 6.30 a.m., 8.30 and 10.30, you will be blessed as you come. Good night and bye for now.